Grinders, just got ourselves our first 25x since we're back on PokerStars this last week. Look at the bankroll. This could be a milestone, winning a 25x. And we're also doing our daily 10 games. So this is a, a really big, uh, could be a really big EV spot for us. Uh, so we got an inside straight here. I uh, Sorry, open end. Yes, we float. If he checks it, do we ever try to steal it? I think so. He's going to have a lot of fours, at bet, there. Nice. So don't forget, guys. I'm in a pretty experienced player. As you can see, my bankroll for $5 is doing pretty good. So a lot of these guys are going to be pretty tight on these spots. So those who are new to my channel, um, you'll see that I'm very aggressive during these bigger spins. I try to be anyways. I did have that spin for 6000 and didn't play my best game. I didn't really have the best cards, but I, I definitely could have played better. But when there are lower stakes like this, I tend to, uh, tend to outplay a lot of people. I'm going to lay that one down. And we're about to get a really big chest here, so... We're in a good spot here for starting this week off with two hundred dollars on Sunday, and it's now Saturday, so we're not even a week in, and we're close to five times our bankroll. Yeah, so we have. Oh, look at this aces We've got an all in. Um, we have three games left for this, and I've already won two five x's. So if we win a three x, and uh. 25x and we're, we're gonna make the leaderboard is what I'm saying to get some extra cake this guy caught a seven you dirty hooker <clears throat> hope it goes check check nice we needed that so this guy's been playing he's taking his little stabs I'm checking back pairs and stuff but he's been taking little stabs Here, let's uh, make this one bigger for you guys. I sometimes forget some of you guys watch off phones and stuff. This is the game that matters right here. So for new spin and go players, this is the last, this is 25 times a buy-in. It's the last stake that only pays first place. If you get a bigger spin than this, all three players get, get some kind of money for a big spin. So we lost that game. So let's concentrate on this one. Hundred twenty five first place. This will put us over a thousand dollars. Plus, after this, uh, this chess here, we'll have uh, over twenty five dollars in rake back, if not more. So Check that flop. He could have some jacks, but he also could be just stealing. Yeah, jack, jack eight, nice hand. So this guy's been really tight, so good to know. He's not going to probably bluff too much. His stats are, it's very small sample size, but extremely tight. It's a pretty scary board. <clears throat> if he checks here, though, I'm going to bet. That'd be a bad time to get disconnected. So his flush draws would have bet. Could have some tens here. His queens would have bet. So I'm happy just to keep betting here.
I blocked Jack King that he could have. Ah, it's a bad river. Uh, the fact that he checked that we're probably good, but there's no point of betting. What well, we're going to get to call like a six. And if we bet there, if he check raises us, then we're in a horrible spot. So nothing wrong with just check, checking down the win. This guy's extremely tight, so we can hopefully punish this guy. Let's get some hands and win this one. This isn't a player that I'd want to just go all in on if he's limping big uh, on the button. He could be limping in with any hand. <coughs> he hasn't raised preflop once. Okay, I don't want to scare him away, and he does have some jacks. He did call a raise preflop. Sorry, he should be good here, so I'm just going to bet one. Maybe a king high could call us, but I also just don't want him to bet if I check. I'd rather, uh, I don't think he's ever going to raise us on a bluff. So the king high did call us. Sorry, my connection is slow right now. So it's called blocker bet. When you bet low there, if he raises you, then you have no problem laying it down. Uh, at best case scenario, if he raises, then you're you're folding a chop it would be the best case, but you're, you're never going to be ahead on a player like this. He's just never bluffing. If he bets two, I will call. Backdoor draws. He's going to be leading out in this type of board. That could really scare him here. If he checks this, then I'm going to have to try to steal it. Okay, I'll give it to him. He's been too tight, so he's earned my respect. If he would have checked there, though, I was thinking of even just over jamming River, putting on a lot of pressure on him. <coughs> Okay, he's got some kings, but I don't think this guy does. Uh, it's... I'm going to lead out here, though. Got backdoor draw, put on pressure. He shouldn't have any aces there, so it's just down to the tight player. Okay, I'll raise and I'll call the short stacks all in here. I'm already committed more or less. If he goes all in, he'll be ahead, but we still have good odds, about 40, 45%, 40% to most of his range. So, Okay, if he called a raise, he should be hitting something here. We'll put him all in. All his draws, insides, stuff like that. Okay, we're all pretty much even in chips. I got a small chip lead. Oh, it's not that small, actually. It's reasonable. Easy fold. King tends too wide at still 14 big blinds <coughs> this guy's never raising so i can limp in with my full range we're definitely check calling here huh this is strange he's never bluffed once this is very strange 
Could have two pair eight six. I think I'll just lay it down. It's on the tight side, but this guy's stats are just way too nitty for me to think he's making a move there. Okay, I'm going to do a little move on this guy here, see if we can get him to fold. I'm going to just jam here. I don't think he's going to call us. I'm trying to get ace high to fold. Yeah, baby. That's putting on pressure. Got to think, guys. Would you raise on that board and then continue it if you called? Ace 10 suited. This is borderline if I want to jam into two people, 10 big blinds. Yeah. <sighs> I think I got a call. Okay, we're ahead. Let's hold. Let's hold. Nice. Heads up versus a tight player here. I like our chances. Almost got a 3 to 1 chip lead. Okay, easy all in. Put our pressure on him. Oh, and he's got 10s. He trapped us. Can we get there? Can we get there? King Ace. Nope. Okay, we're even in chips. Nice trap by him. Now we know he limps in with his full range. It's already obvious that 40 hands he hasn't raised once, but he has to have it to call. This guy's not going to make the, you know, 10 jack suited call there. He's going to have to have the goods. If he goes all in over anything like that, it's an easy fold for us. Okay, just going to jam him here. Eights, we need a win. There it is. Hold it. Hold it. We got there, baby. Let's take down the 25x. Let's look at this. 125 plus bankroll, guys, in one week. 1,064. Click the like button. Smash. Hook a brother up. Peace.